It's like the last time Shelly was on, we were talking about stress with kids and, yeah. and just our stressful lives. I mean, I think there is so much stress that we put on ourselves anymore uh, between commuting and just life, life and, and we're so busy, Shelly. And so today we're going to talk about the adrenal gland. Yes. And we don't realize, I think, how important this is to our overall health and well-being. Uh, overall health and I mean far-reaching implications with other aspects of health that we wouldn't necessarily consider part of a stress response. And our adrenal glands are really important. A healthy stress response is really important in nature because it keeps us alive, it protects us. Um, and so we need to have that stress response. And a lot of people get a really negative sort of body perception because they feel like their body is failing them when really your body's trying to protect you. Mm. So our, our stress response system, I mean, unfortunately in nature is built to deal with acute stressors that are removed. Nowadays, we don't live like that. Nowadays, we sure. sort of have this chronic low-level stress that our bodies are not built to tolerate. F that, which is fascinating when you think about yeah. it. Because you're right, it's, it was like the, the, what was it, uh, flight, flight or fight fight or flight, flight. like yeah. fight or yeah. flight. Um, but we don't really have that so yeah. much anymore. Our stress response it's, is supposed to keep us alive, right? Yeah. So I tell people, if you think about how we are supposed to respond to stress, if you think about the tiger jumping out of the jungle, that's sort of the, the, the stressors we're supposed to be responding to. We're not supposed to be dealing with them on a chronic, low-level, daily basis. So our stress response system gets tired. And the problem is, you know, initially we make adrenaline to respond to stress. And adrenaline is sort of that immediate, reflexive, short-lived response. And when our stress is not removed, then that message becomes hormonal. And that hormone is cortisol. Right. And cortisol has really far-reaching effects with other systems in the body. It affects um, sex hormones and fertility, and, and we use progesterone to make cortisol. So if we need to make a lot of cortisol all the time, that's where we start to see fertility issues related to stress management. Um, we start to see symptoms of thyroid dysfunction because our cortisol is blocking thyroid receptors. We start to see issues with digestion because if you're running away from a tiger, your body is not worried about digesting your food. Sure. So we start to see things like IBS, and so the, the implications are really far reaching. Which is amazing, right? When you think yeah. of all those things, and then they can all be linked back to the adrenal gland not functioning properly. And it gets down to, you know, treat the cause. So it's, um, it is the root cause of a lot of people's complaints, and I feel like this whole concept of adrenal fatigue has almost become this pop culture phrase, mm. um, but yes, for, for really sure. good reason. Um, and unfortunately, it's not really recognized conventionally. When we talk about cortisol from a conventional medical perspective, we sort of talk about Addison's disease and Cushing's disease. We don't really talk about the journey along that path in between. So, I mean, I think there are a lot of things that we can do when it comes to our lifestyle Absolutely. to try to get things functioning better Absolutely. within ourselves. So let's go through that list because I think yeah. these are all things that I think if we took a look at, we could check off saying we don't do enough of any of these things. Right. So the idea really is to get back to the way our body should be reacting, acting in the environment we should be living in. So number one, exercise. And um, oh, self-care yeah. is number one. So, yeah, that's yeah. why I put them up in this yeah. order. So okay, self-care, which is, you know, more downtime, which more downtime. we don't have. And it's really unfortunate because we consider downtime, like, you know, I hear people talk about their guilty pleasure. You know, my guilty pleasure is going and having a massage. My guilty pleasure is like reading a book. That's crazy. Yeah, self-care should important. not be a guilty pleasure. Yeah, you shouldn't feel guilty for making time for yourself. Uh, number two is exercise. We are physical beings. Our body and our physiology are built to expend energy. So when we're not doing that, that energy kind of gets pent up and contributes to a lot of anxiety. And then, of course, eating a, a diet high in, in plant-based and whole foods. We talk right. about this all the time. There's so much now to support that because that's good for our overall health. Everything. 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 Really important. And relaxation exercises. This is something that I, I address actually when I, when I talk to uh, Katie McClellan a lot, and she's on a little later with some yoga stuff, is that we don't relax enough. We don't work on our breathing. And all of that is so important in our daily routine. Yeah, and unfortunately, we've trained our bodies to be in our sympathetic or fight-or-flight 
system, our nervous system. Um, so a lot of people have a really difficult time with those relaxation exercises, which is where I think supplement therapy can be very helpful mm -hmm. because we can gear down the nervous system while we're implementing those breathing exercises or that meditation technique or um, that exercise routine or what have you. Yeah, and there are a lot of great things that you can take, which we've also got a list of, and we'll, we'll go through these. And, and I think as we move into that, sleep is important. We don't get enough sleep. I mean, they're saying like average should be seven, potentially up to nine hours of sleep a night. Yeah, for sure. So sleep is, you know, when we get good quality, deep, restful, restorative sleep, that's when everything heals. That's when everything comes back into balance. That's, you know, you wake up, you should feel rested. You should feel well. And for a lot of people, that's not a problem. And it becomes a very vicious circle of sleep deprivation is another physical stress mm -hmm. that elicits oh, more it's cortisol. Oh, so big, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So let's take a look at some of the things that people can, can include. I mean, there are some natural things that, that people can take and, um, you know, and that's one step, but then there's also some supplements that we can go through yes. quickly here. And where I often sort of encourage people, lifestyle, 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 I do think short-term supplement therapy is really helpful in terms of rebuilding the adrenal glands and decreasing your experience of stress. So our B vitamins, particularly B5, B6, and B12, um, are really helpful for adrenal health. That's what we use to make cortisol along with vitamin C. So we tend to get depleted very quickly in those yeah, with chronic low level important. stress. Magnesium is our uh, sort of physical relaxant. So it's a muscle relaxant. Our omega-3s help with sort of that chronic inflammatory response that comes with altered cortisol production. Um, and then we have, I really like a combination actually of theanine and GABA to sort of mitigate that really um, acute short-term stress. Mm -hmm. Which is which is really cool. And you've seen some amazing results, especially from GABA, because I you know uh, Tyler's talked about it before. Yeah, amazing. He's come on and, and he's even surprised because he said at first he was kind of skeptical and then yeah. he sees the results and he's like, wow. Yeah. And I've tried it, it's amazing. So, yeah. um, you know, you guys are great. There's the supplements there. As we said, there are some natural ones that you can take. I think the best thing is if you suspect that this is a problem, which it is for many of us if you're dealing with any level of stress. Uh, you can head to Full Circle. Uh, they'll be happy to help you. Shelly, thanks so much. Really thanks, great Linda. information on this. And I think something that we all need to be aware of. And uh, at, at Full Circle Healthcare, they do have um, workshops and things as well. But just go in because this is this can be mind-boggling. And they'll, they'll help you and lead you in the right direction and, and work on things with you. They're located at the Highland Plaza on Centennial Parkway. Uh, and you can email them. And also go to the website, fullcirclehealthcare.ca, uh, for more information.